What's up, everybody? This is Kiel Dyken coming back at you with another review. Today, I'm pleased to announce that RetroPie has officially launched another base for RetroPie. This is for the RetroPie 4. And uh, it was just released just a few minutes ago, so I'm just online right now uh, recording this footage for you guys. So you guys can head on over to the RetroPie.uk website, and you can download it. So we're just going to take a look at a few of the changes here. Uh, this video is just going to be really short and simple. So let's go ahead and get RetroPie. We'll take a look at some of the things they've added. And over here, you can read a little bit more information about it. So you can go to RetroPie 4.6. Released with Retro Pi, I'm sorry, released with Raspberry Pi 4 support. And um, I'll do another video on this, but also the Retro Pi 4 itself has also been updated. So uh, there's some few changes on that. But right now we're just going to talk about Retro Pi. So uh, you can go ahead down over here to the download section and obviously download it. So um, obviously, as of right now, as you guys know, I've usually been working with all of the Supreme base images. So uh, there hasn't been any, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, you can see what emulators are available with this. So that's what I want to really point out in this video. So let's go ahead and select uh, this um, link right here, retropie.org.uk. And let's see what it comes with. So obviously it's going to come with emulation station, which is the front end, which houses all the other emulators. You get retro arc, you get retro pie. So we'll just kind of scroll through really quick. This is pretty good. Decent. So we're going to get our main packages, the things that run Atari, Neo Geo, PC Engine, PlayStation, Super Graphics, Arcade NES, Game Boy, Sega. We'll scroll down here. I think the really more important ones are Arcade. And so just want to see if there's any comparison between what uh, the Supreme Images and Code has already put out and loaded. Um, Pico Drive, Sega. Uh, let's see, Parallel as N64. Okay. Okay. And then you have your optional packages. You got Advanced Main 1.4, 0 0.94. So let me see what this category is again. So these are all the optional packages that I see here. And I know we're slowly come, kind of coming down to the end of the list. Uh, these emulators here you really don't need as far as advanced main 1.4, 0 0.94. If any of you guys have been following my channel for some time now, and if you really want to be brought up to speed, please, please, please check out my playlist on the RetroPie 4. I've been using it since day one. If you guys didn't know that, um, I was with the Supreme team, so we were the, uh, the first ones. We're actually pretty much the only ones that put a Supreme um, or base image out at the time. But right now, I'm just testing images and stuff. So right now, the Supreme team is only comprised of devs. But for the most part, I've been using this since it came out since day one because, well, I had a hand in that. So uh, let's see. We got Beetle here, Wonder One, Wonder Swan. Uh, I don't see anything right now that really stands out. You really don't need Final Burn Alpha anymore on the Pi 4. Flycast, you really don't need that. Or Recast. Oh. Oh, that's new. MAME 2000. I have not seen... Let me see, has MAME 2000 already been there? No. I know MAME 2010 has already been around. So that's okay. Um... Okay. So as you guys right know right now, Pi 4 can emulate all the way up to, let's see, what is the last system? I know you got Naomi, you got a Thomas Wave. I know you have MAME 20, 2016 and MESS and MAME. So those are the latest versions for Arcade. I just wanted to see if they added on anything else that's been new. I know Redream is also new. It's a new emulator for the Pi 4. We debuted that here on this channel. 
And I know there's another emulator slipping my mind, and it should be on this list. So I don't see anything that really stands out. So, okay. Uh, a track mode, it doesn't look like it's been added. Or it has been on the arm based upon this demographic. So that would be new if it is possible to add. So um, as you guys all know, a track mode is on the Pi 3B Plus, but it is not on the Pi 4. It just doesn't work. So if they added that, that would be super grand. Hats off to the official team. But them adding that, if that is on there. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> GameCube. GameCube, the... Uh, Dolphin emulator is pretty much the last emulator that has been added to the Pi 4. So based upon this diagram in ARM, it looks like it is loaded over here in this section, if I'm reading this correctly. Uh, if this is possible, you would have to activate this through Pixel and not through Emulation Station because Dolphin is a 64-bit emulator. It is not 32-bit. So um, see about that. So again, I'm not fully... Uh, understanding this menu right now as far as some of these things on here so I'm just kind of skimming through this because it was just announced I'm just going through this really quick for you guys uh, let's take a look at what else we have here uh, Sega Saturn the emulator and eh, the emulation can run from the through an x86 or the 64-bit OS it can run pretty decent not 100% but probably around maybe 85% it does run pretty okay so that's pretty cool um, MAME, hmm, something's going on with MAME, oh, wait a minute, oh, no, it is fully supported all the way across, so, uh, MAME, this is the latest emulator for, um, all the, well, all the arcade games, MAME and MAME 2016, so if you have, guys have those two, you're good to go, you don't need to use any of the other ones, now, the other emulators, as I've said, they will run better, like, uh, Midway or MAME 2003, those really work really good with some of the sports games, but, um, uh, I know Bane 2003 is kind of balanced for a lot of the stuff, but you'll be fine with the other ones. So, yeah, you do have Bane 2016, Mess, Mess 2016, and Mess, so a Neo CD, that's another good one. And we're coming down to the end here. Open Bore, uh, let's see, what are we doing here with the Open Bore? Looks like there's some compatibility there. Uh, PS2 emulator. I have to look into that one. Uh, Redream Dreamcast emulator. That should be added on here as well. And you guys shouldn't have to go through desktop to uh, use Redream. You can use that through Emulation Station. I know originally when uh, <clears throat> Dirty Gaming added, and a couple other guys, they added it to Emulation Station. They... Uh, uh, or to the Pi, you had to go through Pixel, but no longer you can access that through uh, through Emulation Station. So uh, that was all made possible months ago. And let's take a look here. All right, so that's pretty much all your compatibility, guys, as far as what the new RetroPie official base can run and what it can handle. So um, stick around for some updates. I might try it out. I got my own custom image I'm working on based on Supreme Pro, but I'm sure you guys will see some other images based on this. And so uh, we will find out in the next few days exactly how it holds up because I know the last version or weekly bills that were released, they really weren't too promising. And that's based on some of the uh, professional opinions that are guys I know. So, um, all right, guys, just wanted to give you guys a quick update and let you guys know what you guys are in for. But um, it appears to be that RetroPie official is here for you guys to test out and try. So give it a try. And if not, uh, you know, leave me a message. Uh, drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think about it. You guys have a good night.